Howdy folks, so today I'm going to be working on a, a brace, which I've already created one. It's here, so there's a T, uh, T slot nuts on each one of these, each slot uh, with a bolt going through it. So that holds each of these uh, aluminum extrusions together, so you can slide this anywhere you want uh, close to your work and it should stiffen the whole area. It's just a uh, aluminum square tubing from like Home Depot or something. Uh, and you can see like here where the, where you probably can't see it, but uh, where the extrusion's actually being pushed down by this clamp. So there's a gap there. Uh, whenever I put this over there and tighten them all down, it does pull, pull that gap flush. So it works pretty good. I think it, keeping it all together uh, might help make it a stiffer machine. I haven't really run into issues with stiffness yet. I mean, it kind of uh, outperforms what I think, but uh, but yeah, we'll see if it uh, does make it better. Always make things better, right? I uh, don't have anything else to create right now, so make the machine better. So I already tried to do this once uh, again. So this this is, was a 2D pocket, and I ended up having to go back and drill them all out and clean them up. Pretty good. Um, didn't really do that great of a job, and it didn't punch all the way through. So I've done some different things. This one's going to be 2D uh, boring, which you can see I already tried. Here, it didn't seem to know about the top hole and just tried to punch straight through to the bottom hole and just totally buggered everything. And the machine jumped uh, steps. So uh, going back, trying again, I, I set the order right this time, or set the order to do top first and then bottom. Uh, I also gave it, even though it did this one, it kind of still kind of boogered it. It almost seems to like stir weld it, <laughs> and all the chips get stuck to the bit. So I'm gonna go a little shallower, uh, more passes, a little shallower, that kind of thing on the, on this this run. Let's see if all that together makes for a good run. Um, go ahead and do the setup here real quick. Well, relatively quick. I've got the uh, edge finder in the, in the machine, so let's see what we can do. Now I'm gonna pick up this edge over here, see if I can see that right there. Pick up this edge and this edge and get it right there in that corner. That's where my origin is. So get over there on X. side so I gotta add a hundred to it. No, subtract a hundred. Pretty sure I told my mind that I if it's on the negative side you have to do the opposite. So if I add a hundred to it. So now if I do work home Oh, it moved the wrong way. Now we'll go minus 0.2. Minus point, uh, point 0.1 actually. So minus 0.2. 
minus point one. Work home. There, that's more like it. Now we should be over that edge. All right. Let's move X back a little bit. A good bit. say a hundred thousands and then you say hundreds in the next sentence that just messes you up that's what messed me up with the zeroing We're going to go negative 0.1 on Y. I need to move negative so I'm going to go positive. Yeah, I get my brain working on that. That's in the right spot. Okay. So now we will go to Machine Home. And change bits. Make sure we get room. Now this time I set my bottom height. Uh, twenty thousands below the part. <clears throat> yeah, I made sure. Not made sure, but I'm pretty pretty sure that it should be going into the slot. So hopefully, I don't tear up my aluminum extrusions. Okay, X over fast continuous. down a little slower. Stop. Z probe. Probe Z. And now we should be ready to roll. Um, Code. Cross brace. Go down here and look at this. Make sure I got the pause in there. 24,000 RPM, it's 25 inches a minute, but I've taken a lot less aggressive cuts. Here goes, some of these should be close and some will be far. Spray a little WD-40 everywhere. Let's get ready to break something. Let's start.
look at this. I don't know. It's way too aggressive. Let's see if it did any good on those. Hmm. Well, that makes a mess of everything, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, you probably can't see down in them holes. Uh, looks like most of them went through. I, I saw that it was like flexing downward a lot when it hit these. It was just like punching straight through though. Uh, it's way fast. I don't know. Way fast. But hey, I guess we'll see how it. Uh, let's see. Let's just pull it off there real fast. Let me back it off and pull it off. through that bottom at all. Uh, it does not appear that I damaged the bottom, so I did get it all in the slot there. That's a good thing. Let's see if these holes are the right size. These little screws and peanuts, which obviously don't matter for this testing. Alright, there's one that looks like it's done anyways. Yeah, we got our okay, so the battery ran out. Uh, got done with it. Didn't record anymore. But anyways, there's the two finished rails. This is the one that I just did uh, using the uh, 2D boring. Uh, it worked pretty good except for that bottom hole. It didn't really punch all the way through on all of them. And and I think really that was the bed flexing, like because it was just punching really hard down through it. Uh, it was way too aggressive on on that bottom hole. I don't know why. <laughs> I just uh, it wanted to push down more than I guess because there's no room to swirl. It just went straight down for the most part. Uh, somehow you got to I guess set extra conservative settings for a really small hole uh, to make sure that it doesn't just try to go down so fast. Maybe slow down your inches per minute or something. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I should have done it in two operations. One with the top. The top was great. Uh, I haven't even touched these holes. I didn't, didn't clean them up at all. They, they look great. Uh, maybe a couple little hangers on the inside there that could have been, you know, running a wire brush through them or something. But uh, uh, these are great. But So maybe do that in one operation and then set the next operation with a different speed, a slower speed to go through those little bitty holes at the bottom uh, where the screws went through. Uh, but my bit uh, fared pretty good. Didn't get too galled up. I mean, didn't at all. So nothing built up on it. That's great. So yeah, I just had to slow things down a good bit doing aluminum, which is counterintuitive. If you'd think softer metal, I can rip right through it. I guess maybe it came with a different bit, maybe a bigger bit, I don't know. I, I find I can go faster through steel. <laughs> but just because the, the aluminum sticks to it, so you have to go lighter cuts, so it doesn't just, it just looks so nasty. Um, but yeah, there they are. I'm glad to have that. So yeah, these can move. They're both tightened down right now, so you can put something here, and you can't really press in between these you can't make these go down anymore where these are sitting now I could even take these off and run them with in line with the the slots like if I have something long uh, that I need to work on I could put these on either side uh, on on one then you have to kind of find a way to clamp to it that'd be a little bit of a problem but uh, I could maybe do them like a T like run one across and one down the length of the things that way you have a slot that you can work with maybe that would help I don't know uh, just to stiffen that spot that you're working with, but they move pretty easy. Uh, you just unscrew each one, just like a half turn, and then they'll slide. They don't jam up. Uh, it seems like they work pretty good with those T slots. So they, I mean, the T nuts—they just slide right back and forth on there, really easy. 
Uh, probably next thing I want to do with this mill is replace these kind of clamps with just something that bolts that guy straight down into there. Uh, so that it's not taking up so much room and also it doesn't cause this to press down on that. Um, it, you know, it's not actually doing that, so it must be this clamp that's doing it. Yeah, this clamp is pushing down a good bit because it's crossing two different slots. So yeah, I want to put just bolts on that guy, on the fourth axis. And maybe even move it out of the way for now. I don't know. Depends on what I want to do next. But yeah, that's my plans.